down here we've come across a mushroom that sometimes people confuse with some of the edibles. It's called um, an earth pull. And you can see it's a spherical mushroom down here, completely round, it has no cap, it has no gills, it has no spored section, it has no spongy section, it has no stem. It's literally a ball that grows on the floor. Now the reason we're talking about this one is because sometimes this one can be confused with puff balls. Um, like I say, it's called an earth ball. So I'll go through as I talk about it, the key differences between not eating this one and then correctly identifying and being able to consume puff balls. So you feel confident when you're out picking them. So the very first thing you know is an earth ball is kind of like yellowy, um, slightly dirty yellow. It actually looks like someone's throwing mud on it. Um, and then if we go to pick it, I always pull this one um, and don't cut it. So I pull this one up and you can see on the base there, it always pulls a bit of the ground with it. Um, and the mycelial threads, so the threads that come out the base of this mushroom are quite strong. So when you pull them up, they actually pull some of the ground with it which puffballs often don't do. And then we come, come to cut it in half. So I literally slice it down the centre. This one, when it's young actually here, this one's going to go against some of my rules. But this one, when it's young, so this is like pristine young, is pale yellow through the middle. But more often than not, I'd say 99% of the time, um, you'd see that in the centre, that would be black um, and almost like black marbled with white throughout. Um, if you actually squeeze it as well, so when you pick it up, you'll squeeze it and you'll feel it's really tough. Sometimes it's called um, pig skin or pig's balls. Um, so it's got really tough, like leathery skin. Whereas if it was a puff ball, it'd be really soft and spongy. If we have a look in the middle, you can see here, so this one's not dark in the middle yet, but there is a difference in the color of the skin to the middle. So the middle is slightly more yellow. And like I say, very quickly, this will turn black. But the skin, the white section here on the outside is really thick. Again, if that was a puff ball, it'd almost be like a sheet that sits over it. So it'd be like, uh, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to describe it. This is like wrapping something in leather, whereas a puff ball would be like wrapping something in your bed sheet, like a really thin sheet of silk or something like that, to the point you can almost not really see, um, see the outside. Now this one's classed as inedible, um, not deadly toxic. Um, yeah, so an earth ball, it's not one we want to confuse with a puff ball because puff balls are great edibles, all puff balls. Um, whereas earth balls, I'd advise steering clear of them. Now, I've heard as well in the past, so once it gets dark in the center, people slicing the center out and using it as a sliced truffle because the smell of them is very, very mushroomy. So people apparently in the past have cut the middle out and used it as like a, a shaving of truffle on dishes. Um, I've never seen it done, but it's one of those stories I've heard about this one. Yeah, so the key to this one, pull it, pulls up a bit of the ground with it. Um, it's really firm, really tough, uh, quite leathery in texture on the outside. Quite dull, uh, yellow, slightly dirty, cut it open. Typically it would be black inside and I'll get a nice video of one that is black inside. Uh, and then the skin inside is really, really tough. Later in its life, it'll, it'll come to sporulate like the puff balls. So this will go completely spongy in the middle and then it'll break open on the top, it usually gets a slit and it'll start to puff them out. At that stage, it's advised, you know, if you've got um, asthma or um, irritated uh, eyes or skin, you don't want to be really around the, the sporulating part then because it can cause um, flare-ups in asthma, it can irritate your eyes, yeah, it can irritate your delicate skin, so lips, stuff like that. So you'd want to be wary of that one, but really good one to get used to because it's the one thing that we can confuse puff balls with. And once we know this one, you know, as long as we know it's not an earth ball um, and it's spongy and white throughout the center with no um, look of a mushroom in the middle and then you've got puff ball and all the puff balls are fantastic edibles so yeah earth balls something we always come across i'd say i come across it every time i go out looking for mushrooms um, so we're definitely worth getting used to